So the Stussy Birkenstocks, this this is something I've been wanting to get into. I know mules are really trending right now. Comfortable footwear is just all the rage. And this is Stussy's second collaboration with Birkenstock for a pair of Boston clogs. Let's just get straight into this review. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Sneaker Circle. It's your boy Danny back with another review. Now, this was kind of a weird pickup for me. I wasn't expecting, like, it wasn't really on my radar. But, you know, there came out the the initial week of like the announcement from Stussy and everything and i'm just like yo let's just let's just go for it what, what do i have to lose so in front of us today we do have a pair of boston clogs a collaboration between Stussy and birkenstock now birkenstock is a german company if i'm not mistaken here we have that size tag now i was like i'm just gonna throw this box away but knowing me knowing that Stussy logo right there i'm probably not i'm probably just gonna use it to like keep laces and like cleaning products and stuff because these are for the toe. Now let's get into a little unboxing action. Here we have a nice little letter from Birkenstock. It's cool, that's nice. And now I will say I already took these out, I already checked them out and I already tried them on for the review, obviously. Oh man. Here we have a pair of like Boston clocks. This is such a weird, weird review for me to do, I don't know. I don't know, it feels, it feels like a little off, but I know people are interested in these, so I'm like, let me let me just do a review on them. Like, they were probably in the same position as me where they're kind of like indifferent. And just, I'm gonna let you guys know my first hand, like just thoughts on these. So, getting the other one right out the box. It's a little pressed in, but there's a little like insert there, a paper one, just like you see on the shoes. And look at that Stussy branding right there. And yo. Let's like I really want to get into the shoes, but let's get the box out of the way first. Um, the only other detail I wanted to talk or touch up on on the box is they have all the models right here. Now the last Birkenstock collaboration that like was on my radar was a pair of Arizonas. Kith did do a pair, so here's a photo of them if I can find it. I know I can find it, and those were cool. Those were cool, but they just weren't like that comfort I was looking for. I was looking for more of like that hybrid shoe not a sandal but in the end these just do remind me of sandals and yo i have to say just just the suede on these is insane it is out of this world i love these so here's the tag that actually comes attached to the stoozies um it's probably too bright to read but it does say upper leather liners and sock is leather and the soles other material which is traditionally cork uh, it just they're just really known for like your comfort. This is the shoe surgeons decide to just wear and work in for like 10 hours straight And there's a reason they do that. So like I mentioned, I did play safe I went with the caramel colorway. I really should have gone for that pink one um, If you guys aren't really hip on these if you guys are really hype on these they did come out in three colorways bone caramel and that that pink I don't really remember what they dubbed them as and this is the second time Stussy actually collabs with Birkenstock so let me show you just how crazy that suede is, like as up close as I can get. Yo, that is that is crazy. I might have to drop my my aperture on this. Hold on one second. All right, uh, my aperture just a little bit, just so I can get a better focus in without as much depth of field. Look at that. Just look look at that crazy. Like I'm telling you, the suede on this is insane, and it's the same suede you get on the inside. Like even the inside, it's brushable. It's brushable suede. Like, like that's crazy to me. But then again, these were close to two hundred dollars. So, I guess if they weren't anything like this, I would have been disappointed. Now, the first collection actually featured two colorways instead of three, and they were a corduroy. I fell in love with those, and that's basically my my like inspiration to buy these. Don't get me wrong, you can buy regular Burks, and they are all made in Germany, so the quality on them is usually like top notch. But you can't get them for like $120, $150. They don't have to be that $190 price point like these were. But this is like a nice introduction to like the mule world. Like if you want cozy footwear, which is kind of where like Yeezy Runners are, even the Fear of God mules, these are in the same realm of those like footwear where it's like cozy, casual, you can just slip them on. They go with almost every fit. And I gotta admit, like seeing these in person, they're they're just beautiful. So I did go with the 43, which is a 10 to a 10 and a half sizing. Now the cool thing about these is they do work for narrow and wide feet. 
So it's kind of cool. Like I have wide feet and I can fit these absolutely comfortably. I went 10 or 43 and they fit me absolutely comfortably. I didn't even have to like mess with the, the, the buckle a little. I might tighten it just like a smidge because the one thing the shoe does, which bugs me a little bit, but it has extra ample space on the sides and the toe. So like if you have a really narrow foot, all you really have to do is like tighten this all the way to the final loop. Let me actually show you. I'll show you on this one because it's the tag, but you know what? I'm gonna wear these, so it's probably coming off tomorrow. Boop. Nick, I just go like that real quick. You just talk like, look at this fucking suede. This suede is insane, dude. Like right there, I'm at the final notch, and if you have narrow feet, it would do an incredible job of just holding you in. So like these are really cozy. They're concaved in the front and they have like a print of your foot right here. So like everything's molded to like comfortably fit your foot. It isn't the softest material because it is cork underneath everything here, but it's to the point where like you're wearing them and they just fit fantastic. Thing is you can't go out of your size range. Like I told my girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend, my fiance, I told my fiance to put these on and she's like, these aren't really that comfy. And she's been like all hyped up about them. But it, it, to me, it's initially like you have to go for your size. If you go up one, down one, then you know your foot's out of place. It's not in those grooves that are already molded to be there, and you're just you're out of luck. You know, you're just you're playing yourself at that point. So one last little look right here. We have the Stussy branding, Birkenstock on the metal, Birkenstock on this right here. Now the last ones, the last Stussy models didn't have this big right here. They just had a little Stussy logo right here. But that corduroy was beautiful, man. And the last thing to touch, oh, the last thing to touch up on is this sole. Now I had my doubts. I saw these soles and I'm like, yo, I'm gonna be slipping everywhere. Like I can't wear these on a rainy day. But you know, I warm around the house, which is why this is so bent. Warm around the house, tried them in the kitchen, tried them on carpet, and they offer enough grip for you to be comfortable. Now I'm not saying like you're gonna run marathons in these. You're not gonna like be active. Like, you, you gotta, you can't, you gotta be on your toes most of the time. Then these aren't the shoes for you but they support you enough that you don't have to really worry about slipping. Now, the real test is wet floors. And the thing that bothers me most about these is the suede is so fine and so like good that I'm worried that one rainy day kind of is just gonna ruin them, you feel me? So I might have to look into another pair of Boston clogs, but I'm gonna have to buy ones that, that are like leather. So hopefully Stussy comes out with another pair, another like rain friendly pair. I'm not gonna treat these with chemicals. I'm not gonna do like water repellent or anything like that. Like I'm just gonna wear them. It's Florida. We're mainly sunny, so I should be good. And that's probably where we're gonna end this review for the time being. Now, if you're new to the channel, thank you for making it this far. If you're not new to the channel, I love you for making it this far. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Please like, please comment, please sub, and let me know what are your thoughts on this Boston clocks. My friend personally told me that I am rich because I spent $200 on some chunkos. And I see where he's coming from. This is this is a crazy purchase. It's definitely not for everyone. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.